Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are doing good. Uh, my name is Dr. Imran and in this video I will talk about uh, MRCP Ireland Part 2 Clinical Examination. In my previous videos I have already talked about uh, MRCP Ireland Part 1, part one and Part 2 uh, in general medicine. So if you are if you're appearing in Part 1 or Part 2 you can you can watch that videos uh, but in this video I will talk about uh, MRCP Ireland uh, part 2 clinical uh, which we also uh, name is PACES examination uh, first we will go through the pattern of examination and uh, then we will talk about uh, how to prepare for it uh, so basically a part 2 MRCP Ireland part 2 clinical examination is a uh, uh, about uh, 1.5 hours exam it's about 100 minutes exam uh, there are two long stations and five short stations uh, as the name shows it's a clinical exam so in this exam your skills are tested uh, the way you examine the patient and like, your communication skills uh, your clinical judgment differential diagnosis your history taking uh, skill okay so first we will come to the uh, long cases there are two long cases uh, each long case has got 20 minutes uh, there are two patients so uh, in, in, in the first long case uh, you will go to the patient you will uh, greet the patient and uh, they will ask you to take history and examine the patient okay so you need to take a detailed focus history from the patient and then do the relevant examination uh, you have 15 minutes to do uh, to take history and uh, perform a relevant examination and then five minutes with the examination examiner for the discussion uh, in which the examiner will ask you about uh, what are your findings and what are your differential diagnosis and then what what what's the management plans for this patient okay so it's this is the long case history taking examination and then discussion for five minutes with with the uh, examiner the second long case is the same you have 20 minutes uh, take detailed focus history from the patient uh, do relevant examination in 15 minutes and then the last five minutes uh, you will have a discussion with the examiner and, and the same they will ask about uh, findings differential diagnosis and management plan so these are the two long cases now coming to the short stations there are five short stations each station has got 10 minutes uh, the first uh, I would say the first uh, short station is communication then skills in which uh, uh, your communication skills are tested basically uh, uh, I would give you an example like uh, there would be a relative of a patient a relative of a patient and you will be asked to to talk to the relative about uh, palliative management or you, you would be you will be asked to break the bad news so in this test in this uh, station your examine your communication and ethics uh, are tested and you have six minutes to talk to the relative or patient about whatever you have been asked and then uh, four minutes with the examiner for uh, about discussion and then in four minutes the examiner will do discussion will ask you some questions and and so this is the communication skill the next is the respiratory or cardiology you will have to you will have one stage one case either cardiology or either respiratory so uh, it has got 10 minutes the same uh, time period in which uh, six minutes for examination and then four minutes for discussion with the examiner like uh, if you examine you will say examine the cardiovascular system of this patient you need to greet the patient um, and uh, uh, identify the patient as well uh, by name and then start examining the patient in six minutes you have six minutes for examination and then the next four minutes for the discussion with the examiner 
so this is cardiovascular or respiratory examination a example of cardiovascular could be like a patient with aortic stenosis or mitral regurgitation mitral stenosis like that and you know them well uh, the next session would be abdominal examination you have six minutes to examine the patient and then four minutes for the discussion with the examiner uh, any case could come in the abdominal for example polycystic kidney disease a renal transplant any abdominal mass so these are uh, common cases that occur in uh, uh, abdominal examination again you will be asked what what are your findings what are your differential diagnosis and how would you manage this patient and they may ask you uh, some new some more few more questions about the same topic for example if it is a renal transplant uh, then we'll, we'll come to the next station that is locomotor and endocrine uh, in which anything can can appear like a, thy a thyroid examination hand examination for example rheumatoid hands and uh, lower limb examination uh, i would say for example uh, charcot joint you will be asked to examine the patient in six minutes and uh, then discussion with the examiner for four minutes uh, questions answers and the next station would be a uh, neurology station again 10 minutes for the station uh, six minutes to examine the patient and then four minutes uh, for the discussion with the examiner this could be anything like uh, examine the upper limb uh, examine the lower limb examine the gait of the patient and proceed like that uh, cases like uh, spastic paraparesis uh, parkinson and uh, uh, like these cases could come in the faces so these are uh, five short stations and two long stations now to pass the examination you need to pass at least one long case at least three short cases and uh, you have to pass all the skills so there are seven skills uh, which are tested in passes examination uh, communication skills uh, physical examination, identifying physical signs, differential diagnosis, clinical judgment, and uh, managing patient safety and uh, quality of care, and maintaining rela good relation with the patient during examination and during, uh, uh, I mean the examination. Yeah. So these are the seven skills. You need to pass all those skills. To pass the examination so this was the pattern basically now you know all that it's all about practice more practice more practice more practice if you practice more your reflexes will be good and you will prepare well and you will perform well in the examination uh, uh, there is an adrenaline rush in the examination so if you don't uh, practice well you wouldn't be able to perform smoothly and do a good examination and so you wouldn't be able to pass i'm afraid so good practice is mandatory practice on daily basis all the systems and with the practice study some books as well I know if somebody has gone through MRCP part 2, so he, he probably has got enough knowledge uh, to answer the questions. But uh, to study few books, I would name few of them like Cases for Paces is a good book, it's a short book and uh, it's very helpful for the Paces examination, Cases for Paces. Uh, you, can, you can read uh, Gautam Mehta and Ryder, Ryder Mir. Uh, I would recommend these books if you read them for the history taking communication and clinical examination uh, and you practice well uh, on the patients uh, you do more practice and more practice then i uh, i hope you all will pass your mrcp passes examination ireland it's not a, a very difficult examination provided you have prepared well and you have practiced practiced well so this was the uh, examination pattern and uh, preparation for MRCP passes exam. If you have any question, you can ask me. I will be happy to answer you. Uh, 
that was the video uh, see you in next video Allah Hafiz